Welcome back to another edition of the Gadget Lab Show. I'm Michael Calori. And I'm Matt Honan. And Matt's got something funny on his wrist he's going to talk about. What is that thing? Peculiar, I believe, is the word you're looking for. Oh, peculiar. Yeah. Uh, this is the basis. It's a activity monitor, sort of, uh, we've seen a lot of these. It's sort of like the Fitbit or the Y Things, We Things activity monitor. They're, they're the, there's the Jawbone. A ton of these on the market right now. This one um, looks just like a watch. This one is different, yeah, in that it looks just like a watch. Now, is it a watch? Yes. You tell can time. actually tell the time with it. Um, Set an alarm? No. No? No alarm. Okay. Sadly. Uh, what you can do with it, though, is monitor your sleep, mm. monitor how many steps you're uh, taking a day, and monitor your ca calories burned, because it doesn't just have the usual mix of sensors in there like we've seen on some of the others. Okay. So most of them use an accelerometer, yeah. right? Like um, you know, the, the first iteration of these devices that we saw, they were basically just you know, fancy pedometers, right? Yeah, pedometers with an app. That's what almost all of them are. Okay, uh, how is this one different? Uh, this one also has sensors that take your skin temperature mm -hmm. uh, and that, take, that you can track your blood flow. So it's, it's got an optical sensor on the back side of this. I'm gonna take it off for just a moment. <laughs> Little green light comes on. And uh, what it's doing is it's using those, uh, those measurements and others to get a better idea of your physical activity because sometimes you may be doing something like, say, yoga or riding a stationary bicycle uh, that isn't going to be tracked with an accelerometer, but your heart rate goes up, your body temperature goes up, you begin to perspire, and, it's, and this can pick that up. So it tracks sweat. I don't know. Let's, 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 <laughs> per, can we, can we, per, perspiration I, detection. I've forgotten if it tracks sweat. I think it does. Okay. <laughs> also, um, it does have an accelerometer in it as well, right? It does have an accelerometer in it, uh, and it does, a, it does a pretty good job of step counting. Uh, I've done some preliminary tests when I'm manually counting steps, and it's done a, it's done a nice job on that uh, okay. without, uh, without having to do any calibration. Um, so the thing that I've noticed in, the, in my testing that I've done with these devices is that uh, the app experience kind of makes or breaks the tracking part. So what is Basis? Is, Basis is, does is, not is, have an app, which is curious. They do have an app. They have an app that's a desktop app, a web app. Okay. And you can access it through your phone's web interface, but there's no standalone app. There's no app that you can download through the iTunes store or through um, you know Android Marketplace or anything like that. Which is kind of cool because it makes it device agnostic. It does, but I also think there's a lot to be said for having an app that can do things like pick up data in the background. With this one, you have to sync it to your computer using a desktop app. And then, and then it uploads it to the cloud and exactly. then your phone looks in the cloud. Exactly, okay. exactly. And so, so one of the things that's nice on some of these newer generation ones are the, are the ones that take advantage of Bluetooth mm -hmm. to send data to your phone 24-7. Uh, just kind of in the background so that you don't ever have to have that experience where you take it off and sync it. Okay. Uh, the other thing that people are doing is the data that it collects and that it uploads into the cloud. Uh, is that data, can you pass that to other apps through APIs, things like that? Or not currently. It, not no. currently. So you can't like share it with Lose It or you know your calorie tracker or not whatever currently. else you're using? Not currently. Okay. Uh, how much does it run? This is a $200 uh, device. Uh, it's $199. You can pre-order it right now on Basis. They've they're, they've got a back order, uh, and oh, so it's pretty popular. It's pretty popular. There's actually been a lot of buzz about this. Uh, a lot That's of people are looking forward to it coming out. Uh, and so far, I mean, I, I haven't completed my test of it. So far, I really like it. There's there's some things that I'm not uh, crazy about. It's a little thick, <laughs> but uh, but you have to wear it to bed. You have to wear it to bed, but it's not it's 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 not uncomfortable. I've worn some other devices that. Uh, to bed that, that I haven't been crazy about, my wife has not been crazy about. Um, and, uh, I won't ask. Right. And, um, <laughs> but this is, this is, you don't really notice this, you know. I mean, okay. it, I, I notice that if I'm wearing a button-down shirt that I have buttoned all the way down, um, right. it's, it, that, that's a little tight. But otherwise, you know, it, it's, 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 it's not bad to wear to bed or, or to wear around the day. Okay. Well, that's cool. Comfortable enough. Um, you can read Matt's full review of the Basis Band. What's it called? The Basis Watch? The Basis Band? Just, just Basis? Basis. Just yeah. Basis. You can read Matt's full review of the Basis on Wired.com in the coming weeks. And uh, that's all we have time for this week. So we'll be back next time with more from Gadget Lab. And until then, bye-bye.